Every individual has the right to adequate standards of living, including food, water and housing. The right to education and to work, to just work conditions, including equal pay for equal work. These are all economic, social and cultural rights, which are recognized in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the International Covenant of ESC Rights and other international and regional systems. States have a legal obligation to respect, protect and fulfill economic, social and cultural rights. Nevertheless, these rights are violated daily all over the world. Families are evicted from their homes, water sources are polluted, boys and girls are not able to go to school. It's time for us to act. You're probably asking yourself, how can I make a difference? Well, you can bring these abuses to the attention of the international community and encourage them to act. How you use the UPR to do this? A. You can organize consultations with other grassroots associations, local NGOs and community leaders to engage them in the UPR. B. Organize campaigns to raise awareness on your report and your recommendations. C. You can report on economic, social and cultural violations in your country together with other organizations. When you're preparing a report, remember to 1. Be accurate and use data to support your analysis. 2. Apply gender analysis to assess how men and women are affected differently by abuses. 3. Identify vulnerable groups that can be impacted differently by the situation. 4. Suggest solutions in your report. These are called recommendations. Remember to make them smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-bound. 5. Refer to human rights treaties, but also other guidelines, principles and standards with explicit reference to the ESC rights you are addressing. 6. Refer to the Sustainable Development Goals to add weight to your recommendations. It's all about obtaining the rights we all deserve. Human rights. Our rights. Promote your rights through the UPR.